Hello everybody and welcome to URL Ultimate Rocket League. We have got for you one last game tonight. We have got the Ultimate Minutemen taking on the Ultimate Angels. And this is going to be a doozy of a game. I, I mean, we, we were kind of just talking about it. It's going to be awesome. I, I think that both of these teams are, are pretty well stacked up against one another. Wouldn't, wouldn't you say crazy? Yeah, I think this is another good game that we're going to see. I'm actually pretty excited for this one. I forgot oh, my, my prediction. <laughs> well, we'll figure it out. We'll get to it uh, in just a second. Minutemen and Angels is a three versus six matchup. So the Angels coming in at the three seed, the Minutemen coming in at the six seed. We'll take a look at the bracket, give you guys a visual. We're looking at that top matchup in that East Conference bracket in Ultimate League. It is the six Minutemen taking on the three Angels. And yeah, again, on paper, Angels are going to win this game, I think. That's who I have winning this game too, but it's, it's, it's not that simple, right? Obviously, yeah, the Angels might have the three seed better players, but I, I think the Minutemen are going to be able to give the Angels a run for their money. The Minutemen are, are looking at really three pretty dang good players that we know from seasons past. So uh, again, we'll, we'll get into that momentarily, but definitely no slouch team there. Uh, we've got the Stallions going up against that Gorillas as of right now. If the Angels take this game, they'll go up against the Blizzard in the next round. The Stallions will take on the Gorillas. The Minutemen will take on the Gorillas if they win. No questions asked. So, again, a lot at stake here. But just to kind of move back uh, to us right here, it's time for that prediction, Crazy. Actually, it's time for the prediction for chat. They can have their prediction first. Yeah, yeah, let's, the chat. let's do that. Your one. predictions, good the chat. The Rays just won it. The Rays, everybody can have their points back. Let's get our predictions back up and rolling in here. Who is going to win? Crazy, what's your prediction? Um, actually, you do prediction first. I'll let what? you do it. I don't yeah, do I'll let you do it on purpose. Too bad. <laughs> All right, everybody, you got prediction in chat. Make sure you go predict who is going to win this game. Figure out who is the number one moving on to this next round and who who you got faith in who are your credits going to amount to who's gonna win this game go ahead and vote now you have the opportunity i'm going with the angels i'm going with the angels in see i was i was gonna be cocky coming to this match i was gonna tell you it was gonna be angels in three i think oh, it's gonna be angels whoa. angels in four i'll give it to them in four i and i, I really do think that it's gonna be tough to go against Minutemen here, considering that they do have a, a potentially like loaded roster. But right now, what I know, what I've seen, I'm gonna go with the Angels in four. Big stuff. Yeah, so <laughs> I'm gonna have to uh, disagree with you here. Okay, I like that. And I'm gonna have to go Minutemen here. Um, I'm an EXO fan, always mm -hmm. have been, always will be, um, since season one. Yep. So I, I, I believe, I think the Minutemen are gonna take this um, in four. Five. I think it's a game five here. Yeah, um, I I agree. I I I mean I don't necessarily agree, but I think, it's, I agree, think it certainly could but be. You, but you respect it. No, no, no. I agreed with everything else you said up until that point. Like the okay. this team is this, this team is that. But no, I think I think it's four. And I'm not gonna lie to you, dude. I just I see this team. I see Tune. I see Sub Zero. I see that group of players with slow. And it's just, they're so regimented. They just look like they've got it down. Uh, it also looks like they decided to go into a game. Oh, that's, that's with, fun. With minutes left. All right. Well, I, I, I do have a question then for Four minutes for, um, specifically. Oh, no. For, um, for us here, if he's still here. Ozzy. He's gone. What's up? What's your prediction? Um, well, I put 25k on the Minutemen, oh. so I have to say the Minutemen will win in probably four games. Four games? Yeah, they'll probably start off slow. No, you're the only one here that's going for the Angels. You better really? hope you're right. Oh, let's see what chat. Let's see what let's see what chat thinks, because obviously there's <laughs> more than that of everybody. <laughs> totally, totally, it's a 90 percent Minutemen, 10 percent Angels. Uh, that's mostly me though. Oh, fair enough. I mean, it's four people <laughs> for Minuteman, one person for the Angels. If you're an Angel fan, go go give them some credits in, in the prediction because uh, someone go support whoever, whoever. There's there's one man in the Angels, and he's like, nah, I got to support the boys. Oh, I'll change so, soon if no one predicts. 
We don't exist. What do you mean we don't exist? Who has the better? So the Minutemen are the team with the better points differential right now. They've got 31,000. Angels have less than four. Let's, <laughs> let's swing the tables here. Just a tad. Let's see what we can do here. <laughs> uh, let's not, Nolan. Let's see what we can do here. Russ about to put like his whole, his whole earnings. I can't even. I'm on the URL account. I need to get back to my <laughs> Nolan account. That's really what's going on here. Oh, I, I just want to say I have 97 more thousand I could put in. So, are you gonna like go like point for points? I will match it all out here. <laughs> how, many points, how many points did you say you had? 97 more thousand. Okay. Yeah, I put 25k already in. Okay, so you must have like won a ton of stuff to get that many points, right? Uh, yeah, I, I won. Uh, I won one that I was the only person I voted. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> I won everything. I got you. I got you. All right, well, we uh, we are waiting for these guys to get into this game here. Empathy left the match. Uh, oh, Ryan Gab just put 12K down. Which Holy. I... Ryan Gab just put 12K on the Angels. Oh, that's big. And you know what? What did he say? He put 12K on I can on match him? it. Yeah. I'll put another 12K on him. Holy. Absolutely. Sounds fun. I like it. You know what? We're gonna we're gonna turn the tides. We're gonna turn the tables. We're gonna throw another three grand on him. Oh no! We're close now. Hey. We're within a grand, so I need somebody else to help me out. Men to men. I ruined the odds. I think the Pull angels up. got this one. Pull up. Guy, I fixed it for Nolan. What do you mean you fixed it? <laughs> do I not know how this works? Do I, oh, I get more if I don't. Oh, okay. I did mess this up. That's on me. Ryan Gab, <laughs> apologies, dude. I get less found out. Now I get how it works. Listen, I'm just the entertainer, all right? I don't know how all this other stuff works. Crazy and CJ have literally done this for me for like a year now. <laughs> Every single time we're live, they're the one doing the prediction. It's not me. So that's on me. But <laughs> it don't matter. It's all good. We're waiting for this Angels team to get in here. Kind of ridiculous that they decided to play another game. Should I go in and they, reprimand them? They get bad. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, what's it? What's do we know their scores? Like their series? Like their like their records? Yeah, their records. Uh, that's a great question. We can, we I, can find their records. It's in standings. I think they were both five and four. Five and oh, four. Right. Uh. I can find standings. Oh wait, minimum we were three and six, and then. Angels are five and four. All right, now we're here. Now they're coming. There we go. There we are. Okay. Um. Yeah, I'm not gonna answer that question. One of the mods can answer that question. All right, we've got some Zero joining the game. Angels are getting ready to go. He's a hate. <laughs> <laughs> He's joined with the split screener. <laughs> no. All right, guys. Okay, so we've got one and two, two. We've got, we've got empathy. We gotta get empathy back. Empathy isn't here. Okay, we're good. Uh, does that mean we have everyone? We got one, two, three. One, two, three. Plus us. All right, ladies and gentlemen, join up. Let's get this game underway. I'm ready to go. I think it's going to be the Angels in four. What were your predictions so that I can make fun of you later when they don't come true? Five. In five? Four game. Minute okay. four. Yeah. Wow. All right. So a lot of Minutemen support in this uh, in this booth right now. Again, I don't I don't I don't know one team better than the other. Minutemen have a great history in the Ultimate League. A huge play here by the Angels. Can they finish up on it though? Sub Zero can't. Kampiko can't. Toon can't. Beautiful blocks from the Minutemen to start off this game. Angels gonna continue uh, to lay on the pressure. Noble gets a good bang there, followed by Nexo. Noble upfield trying to get a good touch on this. He is gonna get it over Toon, and the Minutemen score the first game of the I mean, first goal of the series. Yeah, and you know. Tune just a little bit awkward. Knows he's got to swing it around. Knows he's beat there too. Beautiful placement from Nova. And I've got to be honest with you. You know, there, you know what happens when we watch players over and over again. We start to recognize their traits, right? We know what Cool Kid can do now because we've seen him so many times on stream. I'm starting to see Nova 
uh, enough on stream to know what he's good at. And it's those slots. He knows exactly where to put the ball, exactly at the right time. It's going to be a huge save there from Empathy. Miniman back on the attack to the other side. Empathy in the air. Going to set this up. Potential for a goal here. It's going to be the Angels who are a little flat-footed on defense to start, but they've got to find something to go their ways here soon. And Pico down the field. Huge save from Nexel. Tune with the shot under Empathy. Big save away from Nexel. Shot off by some zero. And it's the Minutemen who can't keep their composure on defense. The Angels going to find one in the back of that net. Yeah, and I mean, after all that pressure, the Angels do get a go off of it. And a good passing play there in the beginning to start it off. Tied game here. Nexel taking the ball down to the corner. Kapika trying to slow it down. Nexel 50 there. First to the ball. Nova. Sub Zero trying to control the ball here. Trying to buy some time for his team to get boost. Get them by Empathy. But Kapiko gets the ball. Gets a pass one. Two. And trying to get a touch there, but. Not gonna get it now. It's up to Sub Zero in the corner trying to base Empathy in. Now it's gonna be 50. Miss there. Could be an opportunity. Sub Zero to Tune. Tune with a great bang. Tune follows that up over to Compico. Gets a good touch. Not much shooting in the nets here. And as I say, that Compico is trying to get it in, trying to clean. But Nova's gonna have to get a good 50 here. He does. I'm, I'm really kind of just seeing a ton of chaos. Toon trying to stay on that one. Almost has it. Compico just going to take his time, find the angle on that one, and make sure it finds the net. And that's beautiful work from the Angels. Minutemen, I, again, I think this was like a really hectic last minute or so. I feel like everyone was kind of in a wrong spot or, or in an awkward position uh, towards the end of that one. Minutemen going to be the one to pay for it. Angels find the goal. But overall, I, again, I, I feel like I'm just seeing a ton of chaos. And it's one player. Uh, who's able to find an angle one way and, and you know, time's being taken off the clock like no other. These guys are really starting to just find their groove right now. And I again, we still have a whole series to play out. So I'm excited for what we are going to see other than that huge save from Compico. But moving forward, uh, I'm ready for it. Yep, already a good start to this series. A double commit there. So she's trying to put in the net. Toonlik trying to follow this up. Nexo oh, almost oh, gets the oh. save, but Toonlik is going to push it through. Uh, and you know what we really need, Crazy? What we need is, we need somebody who can... Oh, that's crazy. What a 50 from Tune. Awareness, understanding where he needs to put that 50, knowing where he needs to put that ball. No, but it's a little different. What we need to do is we need to find somebody who can stitch together a whole bunch of videos, and we need to start clipping some of these videos. We need to start clipping some of these clips. Some of these great goals that we're seeing right here, they should be going in montages. We should have the playoff montage for URL. I think that'd be pretty cool. I think so. If anyone in chat wants wants to do that, hit us up. How. Please or do. <laughs> any, and, and anybody that wants to do it, even if you already do some stuff, hit us up. We'll get you. We'll, we'll get you the stuff. We'll make it worth your while. You just gotta know how to do it. Here you go from Red Nova, and he sets the ultimate score up here, three three. And I mean, I, beautiful work. Just making the read, knowing he's gonna fall down. Sub Zero not able to get there. Compico. Thinking Sub-Zero's got it, and it's just a jumble up from the crew there. Angels looking to respond. Red Nova gets a good touch there. Next, so with a follow-up, Compico guy gets a save there. Now it's up to Sub-Zero, gets it clear. You're going to have to try and follow this up by saving some time. Next, so 50 there is going to go up in the backboard. Toon Lake trying to follow that up. It's open. Red Nova gets a clear. Doesn't allow a follow-up touch here by the Angels. Toon over to the corner. And just trying to do something here. Sub Zero does get a pass. One to the corner. Maybe a pass attempt here. It's going to be pinched back to the midfield. Nexo's there. Nexo's shot. Two. Going to get a touch. Going to get off the board. Two. Trying to follow it up. Sub Zero. Sub Zero with a bank. Going to hit the post. Does force two to commit though. Compico. Follow up there. Does get a demo. Gets a second one. Now it's tuned. The pressure's here for the Angels. They just gotta capitalize on it. A miss by Sub Zero forces one to go. Now it's up to Toon. Toon's there. Finally gets the goal. And the Angels get that goal they've been fighting for. Yeah, and that's where you're gonna have these difficult situations, right? Because we know this is threes. No one player is gonna win you a game. But when you have a player who is just faster and, and better 
then everybody on the other side of the field yeah that's that's how you know that you have an upper hand and and for tune right now on the angels i think he is that player he's making the plays where they need to be made he's he's really i mean strong arming the ball down the field and that's what you need to really get credit for in this kind of situation you don't have a controlled game from both sides of the field right here it's tune can he do it he almost does he almost had the clip that would have been worth going in the montage but the fact that tune is comfortable making that kind of shot right now as it is uh, and again you know looking at 630 points on the board he's the guy to watch on the angels uh for sure and i for really kind of i think overall in this match i think he's kind of the guy to watch right now but big plays from the angels as they try to work this one down and into the net sub zero not able to get on the scene fast enough able to get that touch so it's gonna fall for two and 50 over into the corner the angels still somehow maintaining some possession here just i i mean literally just off of 50s it's kind of working out for them yeah and the minute minute here are starving for views just trying to get it clear so they can get some pads but the Angels are not letting them. A great 50 there to the backboard net. It's open. Demo coming there. Tune is going to hit the post. It's still off, but still dangerous. Empty. Going to get it clear. One second. They couldn't keep it up. Angels taking one. Absolutely. Great game for the Angels here. And I think that they just they looked pretty good. Uh, overall, I think that, yeah, there were definitely a little bit. There were definitely some communication mistakes. There were definitely things uh, that we saw from them all together. But overall, it, it looked like a pretty solid put together game from them. Yeah, and for a second there, the Minutemen looked like they had a chance, but the Angels with the pressure there in the last minute or so just overtook them. So we'll see what they do in game two, but they need to be able to get the ball on the other side. Yeah, um, I agree. Angels, they, they look solid. Minutemen, and to say that the Minutemen didn't look solid would be a lie, too. They looked great. It's just the Angels happened to get one extra goal. Uh, Nexel is the guy that I would look towards here. And again, I, not, not for any specific reason, but because I think, you know, he's going to be the player who is going to be able to get the most might behind that ball. If you look with the Angels, they liked to play that boom ball. They liked their space. They were able to get around the field. Once the Minutemen start to adapt to that style of play, Next was the guy I'm looking to to start to control that long field play. The push from him is, is going to be big here. He's got to make sure that he does it with his teammates. He's got to make sure that he's on the same page. But overall, I think the Minutemen are, this is their game to lose right now. Yeah, and the Minutemen definitely don't want to lose this match point this early on. Would not be great for the mental. Here's Empathy. Going to get a good touch there. Going to force commit Nexo. Off the corner, trying to get a pass down. Now we there for the minute, and it's gonna challenge that. Now it's up to tune. Pops it up. Gonna try and get a dunk here. Forces a touch by Nexo. Nexo follows that up. Sub so Zero trying to get a piece of that. Now it's Empathy going down the field. Trying to use his boost as much as possible. Nova pops it up, keeps it going. Sub so Zero having to get a touch there. Compico does bump him off though. Tune like. Buy some time for his team to recover. Pop off there, Capico's there, Capico shot, bump there by two. <laughs> Gonna lead to a goal. And that bump is absolutely fatal. Look at this. Toon spots him in the net. Oh, good night, Red Nova Ultimate. You just got sacked like my lunch tomorrow, dude. It's 1-0. The Angels up again. They're feeling confident. And again, Tune, you know, back to that whole point of you set it up and you watch him work. He's a well-oiled machine when he plays well with his team. And, and this team, you know, right now, it, they look like they're playing well around him. And, and this is going to be there unfortunate. is going to pitch it into the net. I don't even know how that pitch is possible, but hold up. I got to rewatch this because that's... Oh. oh, my. The A pinch there by Nexo is going to go in the net to tie it up. I don't think anybody was prepared for that one to one you've got four minutes left to play why am i giving a hundred thing tune this seems to be an issue that faces us every single game you play in um angel's not even gonna acknowledge this ball truthfully it's compico first one to get to a little flick over one red nova has it's to make the play he gets bump. bumped again red nova this is his second sack he's looking like joe burrow on the field right now with the amount that the defense is getting to him it's crazy oh no I mean, Compico is just jumping, spinning, 
gets a flick, gets a bump, he did it all, gets a pass three, that that was, that, that one's for the montage, sure. Oh my goodness, the Angels have two bump montage plays, and it's just, it, it's so routine for them at this point, like that's just the style of play they go for, Tune with the bump there, Sub-Zero with an angle here, no double, it was close, Compico following up, that's the third man uh, there for the Angels, Angels not gonna have a look down at the side of the field here, Tune off the ceiling, gonna have to play with this one and only gonna have so much boost to play with. Little 50 from Red Nova gonna take over here. Sub Zero, the fake to make. Compico already up, pulled down, saved away by Nexel. Nobody gonna bump Nexel out of the way on that one. We got three minutes to play here, and I, I mean, we're, we're in a game. Both teams have had their opportunities so far, and I, I feel like we're in a game. Yeah, but these demos are lethal. The Minimate are gonna have to try and stay away from those of empathy open net takes a shot he doesn't miss ties up the game ain't no way and this is beautiful work from red nova here too i mean he's got to win a 50 at some point tonight he, he has, to, have well has to, yeah, to have a chance bumped. to win a 50. yes he's been bumped you're right <laughs> but no he wins that one and it's absolutely detrimental to the angels beautiful work from empathy to put that one in this one gonna get sent right back uh, in the Minutemen's direction here. Nexel with the big clear tune. The Soul Angel back. And just a, a kind of a reminder here. Tune is the uh, franchise owner for this Angels team. And I don't know why we're talking about Tune or what is going on there. Yeah, take me through this one. I mean, just an unfortunate by Compico. Empathy is just too big. He's oh. going to squish it in. And I mean, none of the Angels can stop that one. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what to tell you about that. That's like, that's one of those pancakes. I mean, I, waffles, whatever you want to call it. It's you and and literally oh, Waffle House. What would you like? I know, seriously, it's it's just that simple. And it's I a game. Think it was, yeah. tied up to see you have the game after the game passed by two, and I mean, he's just there. I mean, honestly, Compico just comes out of nowhere and just gets a goal. Yeah, I, like. He, I don't, he's <laughs> off the screen, he comes into the screen, and it's a goal. It's just Compico coming from absolute nowhere to make a play. And listen, that's the best possible player you really could be. Come out of absolutely nowhere, have no idea where the rest of your team is. Have them have no idea where you are, but you make that damn play anyways. And it doesn't matter what happens. All that matters is that you're in the right spot. And Compico seems to be the man in the right spot at the right time for this team. Tune. Gonna take a flick down the field. Minutemen set to receive here. Gotta play this one right if they wanna take this out and keep control with it. Nexel, the 50, down to Empathy. It's gonna be Toon who ends up getting the playing here down the field. Red Nova, awkward corner. It's gonna be set for Empathy. Red Nova to the 50. And this is where it starts to get dangerous when the uh, when the Angels are, are lurking in this midfield and the Minutemen don't have control of their own minute, of their own field, I mean, it starts to get ugly because the Minutemen are that team that are going to start to overcommit a little bit. They're going to start to get awkward. But they have to make plays count where they need to. Nexel shot here. And it's exactly the man I told you to look for in time of need. Nexel going to take the shot off of the beautiful pass from Empathy here. Right spot at oh the right time. Talk about a beautiful play from the Minutemen. Yeah, I mean, it was a great shot there. Great, great play. But if you look at the Angels, there was a double commit there. And it's since you're trying to... Recover from the double commit, bumps to that last man. That's just okay. Oh what's up, this? Stop talking about the things I do bad. Start talking about this real quick. He said, Hold up, what are you talking about? Double commit? Nah, I'm gonna score it. Oh, tie game once again. And that's that beautiful read right there. And I feel like that's where you're gonna have the advantage, you know, in this. I guess lower salary player that sub is, you know what I mean? And we, we, we say lower salary player, it means nothing other than the fact that you happen to be a smaller salary than somebody else, you know what I mean? But I feel like that's yeah. where you're gonna find that, that skill from that player, right? You're gonna find it in the blocks, the extra touches that the rest of Ultimate isn't gonna go for. And that block right there, Nexel thinks he's got time and the ability to just take that right through the corner of the net. He doesn't, Sub-Zero is always gonna be there to make that read. And, and you know, that's exactly what the player of his caliber is gonna do. Although Nexel might have you here, he's gonna get it around two players. Nova sets this up for Empathy. Empathy not gonna get there and it's the Minutemen gonna find themselves in a bit of a weird position. Last ditch effort here on the attack. Four to four, 50 seconds remaining. Anything can happen. 40 seconds. Tied game, we could see another game to overtime. Unless one of these teams decided to get a last second goal. 
30 seconds. Doing here, trying to get something started. Empathy having to get a touch here. Nova's up. Follow that up. Sub Zero can't get the touch. Nova's there. A double commit to not allow that. But Nexo coming back. Just get the touch. Can't get the double. Empathy's there. It's too high. Nexo trying to Ooh. redirect it in. It's not going to happen. The Angels have saved every ball. Six seconds left. They got to get this one out of their side of the field. Oh, no. Empathy trying to keep it going. One second left. They just got to make sure that goes in the ground and it does. Game time. Game two overtime has been rather short tonight. I feel like the last series that we saw, when we saw game two overtime, it was like 10 seconds. Figured out real fast. Oh. There wasn't really much of a game. Is that what we're going to see here, or are we going to have a full-on war for this spot? Well, on the, on the script, that's what it was, but since you just talked and a cast occurs, we, we changed the script. It's going to be a 10 minute overtime. Oh, well, I, I sure hope so. Big 50 here now, Empathy, the man down the field. It looks like Nexo might have had the opportunity. He gets the bump. Pig plays from the Angels. there. Oh Another save by Compico. sub is there to get it clear. sub -Zero trying to keep this pressure. Get to pop over one. Now it's up to Empathy. Going to pop it back into the corner. Compico's there. Compico pops it up, trying to get a pass. Not going to be what he wants, but Toon's oh, there, keeping the pressure. Nova trying to bait them in. Bait him for the 50. Does get two of them. Toon trying to get a bump, Empathy in the air, Compico there to meet him, gets a pop down, Nova banks it to the corner, Sub-Zero's awkward, Empathy there, gets a good 50, it's in the air, Pico's gonna follow that up, gonna keep it with him, gonna get a flip reset, gets the flip, Nexo gets a good save there, Sub-Zero's up, so is Nova, Sub-Zero gets it over, Empathy having to clear to the corner, Nexo. Taking it down the field. Maybe trying to get a bump here. Does force a jump by Toon. Compico oh, pops it over oh, one. No. It's a 3v1. Oh, no. Can Compico do it? Pops it over one. Toon with the follow up. No. The Angel take game two in a minute and 31 seconds in overtime. See, and this is what's so hard about it too. Because you saw that camera angle shift. And as soon as Toon beat the second man, you had the 1v3. You had Compico on the ball. You had the Angels balling out. And man, these guys did it again. Angels taking game number two in style. They're asked for a new server. Absolutely. I mean, why would we why would we get them this new server? Like, this game has been close. Yeah. But like, a sweep is possible here. That's what I was saying. When that is here, I thought it was cocky to say that. Now it's a possibility, and I just I feel bad. I really do. See, I I feel like four one because you thought what the games would be like. It, you again you said it was cocky but the sweep is possible but you do got to realize that the minutemen had that overtime and they look good in that overtime yeah they look good in this game three so maybe that's kind of what we were technically what you were looking for mm -hmm. what you were expecting that's why you didn't want to say a sweep but either way you still you said four so i'm expecting four i, I listen i'm really hoping for it too i i would hope that the minutemen are going to be able to pull a game out here but i'm, oh. I'm, I'm hoping for a game five you know what I mean? I'm hoping the for caster in me always wants game five or seven. The the competitor in me wants to nail this in three. You know what I mean? So that's that's where I'm at. But um, I'm I'm excited. I, I think I think really that this could be the start of uh, the start of the series. A little ice, a little ice on the Angels, a little Massachusetts Minutemen comeback. Who knows? This could be exactly what they need. They do have this time to speak to each other to yep. kind of see what's happening see what they want to change see maybe they want to try something different if they have a coach this is where he would be and if they don't then this is where the team will be speaking but they are joining up they don't have much time left no they don't <laughs> the game is actually starting right now so hopefully they got something in there and we see some ice here from the men and men um, but while we get into this game, I do want to say, crazy car of the game is going to Nova. Yeah, it's say. a nice car. Listen, ultimate, you guys gotta step up your game. We have one car that was, shout out Jesse. That was great. <laughs> last, last, last. Uh, what was it? Yesterday? I think so. Oh, I think it was yesterday. Or, yeah, I think you're right. Oh, hold on. Shot here. Oh, beautiful work from Maxwell. And oh, just the, just the slot from the wall here. Look at the pass. And he does it. Oh, beautiful work there. I mean, that was just a great connection from 
from the Miniman there to, to, to be able to connect with that, the pass, and I mean, that just caught the Angels off guard. That's a bit awkward here. It's gonna wait for the ball to reach him. It's gonna follow it up, get the flip, trying to pass it down, trying to pop it up. Maybe Empathy can't get a touch and now it's up to two. Renault was there. Shot there by Kiko. Tune. Trying to follow it up. Trying to just get in the way of Nexel. Pass down to Empathy. Nexel trying to follow this up. Empathy. 50 there. Kapiko. Keeping it close with him. On the wall. Tune was up. But Kapiko stays with it. Flip reset. Out Nexel there. Catch the ball. Miniman want to keep this lead. Nexel trying to get another. Commit there. Gonna have to to make the minimum force a touch here. Sub-Zero, awkward. Kapiko with a clear. Kapiko with a bang. Toon trying to follow this up. Kapiko there. Almost a great 50 there. I know, that was crazy. Just how Kapiko was able to sit there, get that extra touch on the ball. It easily could have been dangerous. Beautiful shot from Red Nova and even better save from Kapiko there. The Toon and the Angels right now are, are absolutely in flight mode. They have just about everything going for them. Uh, they, they've, I mean, really, it just, it, it looks so in tune. That's, that's what I'm saying. Sub-Zero, big toss away there. Empathy gonna be the one to catch to that. And Pico, I'll let it fall to him in the back side of things. Keep control here. So the midfield looks like we might have a 50 with Nexel. A little bit for that bump, that demo. Shot here for Sub-Zero. Can he go for the double? He's not going to have it. Kapiko swings back around. Shot. Top corner. Back to the midfield. Is it going to turn its way in? Oh, no. What no, is this? No touch. No, no touch there. This is ridiculous. And somehow the Miniman are saved by the post. Toon having to go up for this to make sure this doesn't go in. Going to follow up there. Sub-Zero there. And just could kind of keeping the midfield to themselves. Kapiko. Great follow up there. No Miniman wants to challenge this. No touch. And oh, Reno will keep it out for a second, wow. but Toon with a great pinch. That is ridiculous. And that's such a tune shot too. It really is. Just like the the dirty, like you didn't even mean to beat him, but you kind of just did. And it hits the ceiling and then falls into the net. Uh, it's unfortunate, but that kind of shot is the one that you see all the time. It just seems like it comes at the worst possible time. You're building momentum, everything's working out, and then boom. For the for the Minutemen, it just didn't... Not ideal, but again, you're one-to-one. -one, you're under halfway through this game. I mean, everything needs to be perfect moving forward for the Minutemen, or you're out in three, really, moving here. Yeah, if you're the Minutemen, you don't want a situation where you're all waiting for the other to go. Someone has to be on the ball. Great 50. Next one, house controlled, but it's going to be 50 to the corner. Two is there. Empathy. Going to have to bang it out. Compico up the wall. Trying to get a second touch here. He does. Bump by Toon. Toon's just been the disruptor this whole game. So Zero with a backflip. God trying to get in the way. Empathy. Going to bang it over one. Only Compico there. He is going to bang it towards the net. Almost a, a double commit there. Compico trying to take a shot. It's a bit off. But that was almost a great play by the Angels. You do have to get back. Empathy. Gets it over one, trying to get over two. Two doesn't let that happen. Miniman are looking for that one. Good look at the net. This could be a chance here by Nexel. Does get bumped. Now the boss left for Campico. Goes up in the air. Empathy. Trying to match him. Not gonna happen. A pitch. Almost Nova. Demo there. I mean the Angels just look like they're kinda hitting the uh the Miniman with everything they have. I mean yeah. Bombs here, just oh, being on. so disruptive. Keep two play for two. First yeah. to a 50. Next to with a shot. Gonna be saved by Sub Zero. The Angels somehow keep this out. They don't feel the pressure just yet. Empathy, gonna try and pass it over to Nexo. It's gonna be a bit too high. You know what's gonna turn to the backboard. 42, trying to get a bump. A shot there. A save by Compico. The Angels keep this out. And the counter attack by Compico is gonna score in the net. That has to be. That's that's the meaning. That's the moralizing right there. Because I thought the next level took a pretty damn good shot too. The Minutemen made that play. They set up everything that they needed to, the way they needed to, and the Angels were just there. Compico had the same, and even better, Compico had the counter attack goal. And Compico's got the ball right here too. Compico's not the guy that you want to let on the ball. If you're the Minutemen, he does it again. What are you on about? This is crazy. Compico just takes it off kickoff. 
takes his time on the ball, the aerial control, plays it under empathy, and granted, I don't know that I'm gonna hit that shot twice, but that's great work from the Angels, and Compico specifically. I mean, if you're the Miniman here, you have to be heartbroken with having all the pressure, having all those shots, and the Angels just being a brick wall, not allowing any of them in, and then a counter attack by Compico, and then another goal by Compico, and then two like having this. Yikes. Angels are flying away with this one. Yeah, 25 seconds. Now you really need a miracle. But it's looking like an angel's sweep here. And that's... You should have stick with your prediction, Nolan. Listen, I, I, I should have, but it's still close here. The 3-1, again, it's, it's not even that. I just, you have to know what the angels are going to be able to come out here and do. Especially with, you know, the, the players that they have on the field right now. And it, you are, if you're able to say that the worst player on your team you know, is like scoring 200, 300 points. That's not a bad team composition. It's not a bad game, no matter how you look at it. But even so, I feel like this Angels team just played really well. This was a hard fought battle from the Minutemen. They didn't play poorly. I just think, no, it's, I think, it's, I think it's tough. You know, this Angels team, they went through <laughs> winnable. They went through multiple rebuilds. This team has played like, you know, with each other before. These players have played with each other before. Minutemen just I mean it's a tough it's a tough pot battle when you play something like this so um, We'll have to take a peek at the bracket the angels gonna take this one. They're gonna take the series. They take it in three Ladies and gentlemen, that's a full sweep Angels give Minutemen the business say listen your minute efforts mean absolutely nothing in this war uh, And that's it. That's <laughs> Angels played great We don't get to see the Minutemen car today That's unfortunately do we want to but, see it real quick nah they can wait for another league i got you yeah, I, mean, I think they're out <laughs> no no they have something i think they play right. tomorrow you're right they do play tomorrow at some yeah, point.